Hi there, so this is Jen from Jen with Sprinkles again, and I am doing my second video. Um, this time I wanted to show you a little bit of an album that I made. This is the front of the album, but first of all, let me show you what I made it with. Um, these are Ultra Pro Top Loader Series, 3 inch by 4 inch, um, and they are made to hold baseball cards. They're clear. Oh look, you can see me in the camera. And what I did was with my crocodile, I punched a hole in the corner of each one right there. I don't know how well you can see that. And then I made a template, just this size, that I knew would slide right in there so that I could make all the pages I wanted to fit into my little kind of mini key holder album um, the right size. So this is the first album that I made. And this one is a little bit just kind of trying out this technique and a little about me and just sort of fun. Um, I've attached some ribbon. It's all held together with a key holder, a key ring book ring and on this page I just have some you know really neat papers and my name and then on the back I did another one with um, part of one of my favorite sayings and what I did was I left certain ones blank so that I could put pictures in um, there's the hubby and I and there's the wedding picture because you know every good thing should have a wedding picture this page is actually um, one of my unity stamps the I call it the smooches I don't know what the real name is um, stamped onto some fabric that I had and that came out really well. I was super excited about that and I titled it Smooches so I love my Unity stamps. Um, this was part of a Cosmo Cricut sheet and I used my new red smooches, you can't really see it on camera, in her on her lips um, and added some of these red kind of bling crystal-y things. Um, the smooches and the bling things came in my set that I just ordered from Paper Popsicles, the July kit. So that was really fun. Um, oh, this shows one of my favorite things. Well, it shows a mirror. Hi, there, you know. Um, but also, this stamping that I did on here, which um, this is another Unity stamp, I believe. Um, and the Celebrate Your Inner Princess is, let me pull out the stamp and look. It is, yes, I thought so. It is an Amuse stamp, so I love when sets go together from different companies. But what you'll notice is I stamp that right on the plastic. And if you have stays on ink, you can stamp on these and it will not come off. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then just the rest of the pages. Oh, there's one of our kittens and there's the other one taking a nice cat nap. Um, I just used a variety of things, um, things that I liked, things that were interesting. Here's part of my craft room before I just redid it. And finally another picture of us. Um, so it's neat because it's all protected in plastic. You can just sort of flip through it and you can toss it in a bag, bring it with you wherever. So I thought it would make a good gift. So I made another one and this one has um, some really great stamps on it. I cannot remember who makes them. Give me two seconds. Oh yeah, well silly me. This is from Tailored Expressions, the um, puppy dog there. And these are rub-ons from, I believe, Bo Bunny. So, this one I did for a boy. Um, I have blank pages in it because I'm going to give it as a gift. Um, so just some different rub-ons, that sort of stuff. Um, you know, another image from that same Tailored Expressions stamp set. Again, I stamped right on to the card holder stickers but you know I mean I'll probably embellish this a little bit more there's the back page um, you know maybe something around the key ring and I'll give them the template and they can cut their own pictures when they get them so you have like an instant album to carry around um, for a new baby so these were just kind of a really neat idea I have to credit um, Beth Campanelli who I Campanelli I'm sorry who I got this idea from. She actually uses these baseball card holders and makes little flip books. She's a speech pathologist and with um, kind of guide pictures for students who need them. And I thought, well, that's great. You know, I teach high school, so I can maybe do something with that. And then I had them and I was using my new crocodile to put the holes in them. So I was near all my crafting stuff. And I thought, you know, I think I can make a scrapbook out of this. So that's what I did. And those were the two scrapbooks. Um, they take 
hardly any time at all because they are so small. And like I said, you can carry them around and it's a great chance to use up some of those scrap pieces, you know, when you have just a little bit left from things. Um, it doesn't take up a whole bunch of paper. And I think that they, you know, are just kind of a really neat idea. I'm sure somebody's done this before, but this is how I did it and what I did. And so I thought I would share it with you guys. Um, let's see, do I have anything else to show you to go with this? Uh, this is actually the first one that I made with some stamps on it. Um, that's part of a Muse stamp. That's another Unity stamp, the music ones right there. And uh, some more Cosmo Cricut on the back. You can tell what I love. Um, so it's just real quick, real easy. Just a different way to scrapbook and kind of a different medium to do it in. So that's that, and I hope you enjoyed and got some good ideas. Thanks.